everyone to video 3 of the MSC Discast. Today we're going to install Ubuntu on a computer here. We just thought we'd videotape it. So right now what we're doing is we've actually booted to the CD. And right now as you can see on the screen you're given a few options here. And the one we're going to pick of course this one is start or install Ubuntu. So just press enter. And what it's going to do is it's going to load a whole bunch of stuff off our live CD here. And it's going to install it into memory. So depending on uh, how fast your computer is, how much memory you have, this here can take a while. The computer that right now that we're actually installing it on is a little bit of an older computer. Uh, it's got a little bit slower of a processor and not a huge amount of memory. So this is probably going to take a little bit for for this to load in. Depending on your uh, computer, like I've, on my newer computers that I have just around the studios here, this actually is quite quick. It doesn't take that long, but I think this one it's going to take a little bit. So what we'll do, uh, while it's loading up here, we'll just take a quick little break, and as it loads up here, and we'll be right back as soon as it gets to our uh, desktop. Okay, now, well, it looks like we're at our desktop now. So we're running uh, a Ubuntu desktop off a of live CD. So right over here in this little corner here, uh, there's the in, uh, you'll see this little install icon. So what we want to do is we want to open that up. So we're going to open that up here. And while that's opening up, right now our install window here is open. So the first thing we want to do is we want to uh, select a language. I'm going to select English here. And there's a little forward button here at the bottom. Just click on that. And once again, because this is a little bit of a slower computer, this uh, going from window to window might take a couple seconds here. but. Now the next thing we want to do is um, our region, our time region. Uh, you have a few different options. You can click on the map here. But I find it a little easier to go down here where there's this little drop down menu. Or I guess it would be a drop up, depending on what you call it. And I just pick a city that's closest to me. Uh, Calgary is actually closer in Edmonton, but I'm not giving that um, option there. So I'm going to press Edmonton, which is going to give me the proper time zone. And just right down here you'll see the little time zone, Mountain Standard, which I am and then we'll go forward again okay and then the next thing we want to uh, pick is what type of keyboard we have I do believe one of the um, most common ones I believe are is the US English so we're gonna highlight that just there and we're gonna go forward there And of course just on yours it's, if you do have a different type of keyboard depending where you live you may have to uh, uh, have a different option here now what it's doing here, that's what they're doing, it's starting up the partitioner just as it says there. And this is kind of where you want to make a decision. Hopefully you've kind of thought of it before. Uh, you've got a few different options here. We'll try to get a little closer here without it getting blurry on me here. But right there you can see it says guided and resize. And what it's going to do is it's going to partition your disk where you have two different partitions. Now you want to select that, let's say you're already running a different OS like Windows on here and you want to keep that OS on your drive and also put Ubuntu on there that way you can dual boot and when you dual boot at the very beginning you'll get a little splash screen and a grub loader and it'll kind of give you an option do you want to boot into Ubuntu today or you want to boot into Windows our next option here is uh, guided use entire disk now what that is is you're going to erase and format the whole drive and just use Ubuntu and then there's also manual where you can make a few other changes that's getting a little bit more advanced than what we want to talk about today so what we're going to do today on this one actually is we're going to erase the whole disk and just put Ubuntu on there so we're going to click to highlight that there and we'll go down to our forward button again and click on that now we've got that far it's going to start the partitioner here once again and it's just going to uh, do a few different things here and get ready for our install so our next thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to get asked a few questions here which hopefully won't take too long first of all is our name now I'm gonna I'm doing this for somebody else so I'm gonna put in here Tanner and that will also be you now if you want to change your login name that's fine but we're gonna keep that the same and then we have to put a password in and then, of course, um, just to confirm that password. Now, that password is really important 
don't forget it because you're going to want to use that whenever you log in or whenever you need to uh, uh, download a program or do anything changes like that to your computer it's always going to ask for your administer password and that's this password so make sure it's something that's um, not too hard for you to forget but also something that's going to be fairly secure especially if you don't want someone else to use in your computer and then down here that's going to be the name of our uh, computer here and we're just going to keep it as Tanner Desktop and then once again we're just going to click forward here and let it go on. They're pretty simple questions there and the next thing it's going to go to is it's just going to have this little splash screen or window here and it's going to ask you a whole different things make sure that just confirming everything our English is la or our, I'm sorry our language is English our keyboard is US our name our login our time zone and a few other things saying that it's going to you know erase our desk and make sure you backed up your data and all this kind of stuff now if you're gonna do a dual boot make sure it's just so important that you back your data up because things can go wrong and you'd hate to lose some data in that because you didn't you know you didn't do a backup before you started this so and obviously if you're racing your desk you <laughs> hopefully you've done your backup and it's gonna kinda tell you a few things down here what it's doing and it's a lot more technical here so anyway and then our next little thing is it's gonna ask is it's gonna ask install and that's it so we're gonna click install because we liked all their changes up there and then it's gonna start up our parti actually start up the partitioner and right now it's probably just formatted the disk and now it's going to install the um, Ubuntu onto our hard drive. Now once again this is going to take a while probably because we don't know how uh, because our computer is a little bit slower and stuff like that when you know we're doing a whole format so it's going to format the whole drive and then um, put Ubuntu on it so uh, this could take a little bit here uh, depending on your computer if you do have a faster computer I just actually did one here last week and, I didn't really time it, but I'd say I did it within a half an hour, probably under a half an hour, and that's from uh, booting to, right from the live CD to installing it, asking all our questions, and doing our reboot, and also like getting all the updates. And there's not that many updates because this is Gutsy Gibbons right now. And of course, Gutsy hasn't been out that long, so there isn't going to be a whole lot of updates. So uh, while this is doing this, it's uh, going to be installing that here. So this could take a while, so I'm not going to talk through the whole thing because it'll take just forever so um, let's just uh, let this install and while it's installing we'll take a, a little bit of break here and we'll be right back.